Hello and welcome to this video which is a quick video response to a few questions that I've had about getting the patterns from chord pads into your project. So this is the kind of thing you would think would be fairly easy. You could either drag them from the chord pads or maybe from the chord track etc but that's not the way it works. So here we have chord pads set up with that two-handed piano, Italo house piano kind of sound that I had set up. So Now, if we drag this chord pad onto the track, we just get a block chord with no pattern in there, which is a bit annoying. So the question arose, which is how to get that pattern into your project. And the way that I've found, and the only way that I've found, having spent quite a bit of time trying to work it out, is to record your performance. So once you've got your track set up, you'll be basically just recording MIDI effectively. But what it does is it filters that and puts in the chord pad performance instead if you've got chord pads active. There is a caveat to that. So here you can see you've got the MIDI input set up. If you have the MIDI inputs set to all MIDI inputs or chord pads, that will work. So if I set it to chord pads, you'll see again, that works just fine. But if you have it set to your keyboard, so in this case, my MPK Mini, if I play that, you will hear the trigger note for this, which is a C as well, which sounds a bit ominous. And then and when I go up, it will sound worse. That might be your bag. That's not the effect I'm looking for. So if you have your default set to your MIDI keyboard, you may want to change it to all MIDI inputs or core pads, and then it will do the intelligent filtering now, the other issue I've found is that if you play a bit before the beat, which I have a tendency to do, then if you're recording from a given bar, you won't get that first instance of the chord pad pattern being played. So if you look down here, when I record, you'll see I press the key on the keyboard, but it won't happen. And then I will do it again at bar three. Just going to turn cycle off so it doesn't cause any issues. I'm going to hit record, say watch down at the bottom right for the MIDI, and you'll see the MIDI will be there, but the pad pattern will not get played. So I've had varying mileage with this. Sometimes these don't come out. This is the first time I've seen that where that does come out, but effectively we're going to start from bar three. So once we'd open this up, we would just edit that, get rid of these dummy bits, which didn't come out regardless of them appearing there. And then with a bit more editing and tidying up, you'd be good to go. Miss those down the bottom as well. There we go. So let's get rid of them. And now we'd be good to go. So that's my solution for getting those patterns from chord pads into your arrangement. And from there, obviously, you can edit them as normal. If you've got another way of doing that, I'd be interested to hear about it. But I spent uh, probably too much time this morning trying to work out how to do it. Didn't get anywhere, but have come up with some suggestions for improvements for this. Because after all, you think that would be a nice thing to do to just be able to drag them straight off and have those patterns appeared. And after all, that's what computers are supposed to do for us. Anyway. Hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.